And on top of that, I got the fucking secret service calling me five times. Kai, hit me and tell me who sent you that text, man. Because whoever on Vice President Kamala Harris' team hit Kai Sinat uh, to do a live stream, they need to be fired. Kamala's in trouble. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com gets you one of these Skamala Harris shirts. <laughs> Turn that off. <laughs> uh, discount to pop up here. The link will be in the description section. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. You guys have been doing a tremendous job hitting the like button. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Uh, every chance I get to make a video to put these things in context, I'm going to do so. We still have to fight. We still have to run up the score. I don't give a F how much we're winning. We need to win bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and give them no chance come November that they will have an opportunity to win. But this is a pretty big development. When you get a guy of his stature, some of you guys that are not in the younger generation probably don't know who this is. His name is Kai. He's probably the biggest black influencer on social media in the world. I think maybe if he's not number one, he's probably number three. Your top five at least. And listen to what he had to say about Kamala Harris's approach to trying to leverage other influences to come out and make him become political. Now, Donald Trump is, in my opinion, because he had an interview with Aiden, which I'm going to show here in a minute, did a good job on capitalizing on this. Whoever tried to reach out to him can't read the room whatsoever and ended up causing more damage than good. Wrote a clip. We're supposed to be in a pet house in New York. And on top of that, I got the secret service calling me five times. Why is he in the trailer? Oh, what's going on, dude? Now, let me go ahead and say something. All in a matter of week, I got the Secret Service. I got, hey, I'm going to keep it a stack. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't give a f Okay? Listen, I had a bad f that I've been trying to get on for like the last three years, the last two years that I haven't, I haven't spoke to in like a year. I haven't spoke to this girl in so long who gonna have the audacity to text me. We need you a part of the campaign. At first I was talking, I was thinking she was talking about like a game, a video game, like a, a modern warfare game um, or some or if not that, a clothing brand. I'm like, what campaign? Shorty gonna say, Get into details. <laughs> Yo, this is why I can't do shit. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all boys, okay? What the f is Kasanak gonna talk about when politics, my? <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real. Hey, look, mark my words. I'm gonna say it right now. If this some way, somehow, something was to go into where I do the stream of politics, I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm going to sit on my stream and say, why did you guys call me? <laughs> hey, you know, I don't know. I've never did any, I've never did anything with politics. And I got, and these blogs are like trying to say, yo, you gotta do this shit, God. <laughs> And it's all the top blogs, but I'm like, since when did you care about what Kasanat had to talk about for politics? You feel me? Chat. It's not even it's not even a particular person. It's all sides of the field. All sides of the field. I don't know what's going on. I haven't even been in tune. Shout out to Aiden. I know Aiden did some 
But that's but Aiden's more into that, you know? Like that's Aiden's more into that. Child, when I tell you, I don't know what's going on. I don't like I don't know. You feel me? I I'm only gonna do it if it makes sense. And I don't know it. And I, I apologize to the people that wanna see it so bad. But that's just not my lane. You know? I can't force something that's not me. You feel me? I, I can't. And I just can't sit there and force something that's just not me. And that's and that's okay. You feel me? And that's okay. Now here's here is uh Charlemagne the Fraud uh, coming out and giving his take on what Kai said. My interpretation of what Kai said is he tried not to disclose who reached out to him, but I bet it was the, the Kamala Harris campaign reached out to him. They're trying to get all these black influencers to somehow endorse her, even ones who never talk about politics to endorse her. He tried to say it's kind of in the middle, but I think he was really talking about Kamala. That's why Charlemagne responded like he did. But they... they, they I wish he would be informed. I wish he would listen to somebody like me or somebody else to have common sense and be informed and talk about politics and keep it 100. Roll the clip. Kai, hit me and tell me who sent you that text, man. Because whoever on Vice President Kamala Harris' team hit Kai Sinat uh, to do a live stream, they need to be fired. Okay, stop letting social media run her campaign. You saw Trump but go on Aiden, Aiden Ross, Ross, and you saw the attention that garnered. You saw the headlines that got. You saw social media start saying the vice president needs to go on Kai tonight, and you ran to go make that happen. Not even stopping to think, is this organic? Does Kai Sinat not even care about politics? You know why? Does he even know the, anything the, about it? it, it, it have it, questions? He you, might be supportive of Trump. We don't know. No. Got a whole show. He's not supportive of Trump. Cut it out. You don't know now, who he supports. I, I know he don't support no Trump. You, you know why the Trump Aiden Ross scream worked? Because Aiden Ross had real interest in Donald Trump. And I do believe politicians should absolutely meet people where they are, but it still has to make sense. Let it be something organic. There is a lot of places the VP can go uh, to get in front of a younger audience. There are influences, Kai age, you know, um, it, 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 I, I don't know. Makai, I'm, I'm all, like I said, I'm all from meeting people where they are, but it also has to make sense. But Kassanat has never even, I've never heard Kassanat mention politics one time. Not even no. talk about it at all. No. So we don't know what, what his interests are, what he cares about, what he likes. Not at all. We know he's no. the one. He's the biggest streamer. But besides that, he's never mentioned if, politics. If the vice president was to run the Kai now, she would just look like she's copying Trump. Mm -hmm. you, you know who I want to see the vice president sit with? I want to see the vice president sit with the 85 South show. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a great organic kickback. I believe Carlos Chico in D.C. would have a real honest conversation with her. And we would love that for the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. Bye. You wouldn't. Could that be such a lame conversation? And people will realize how trash she is, and y'all would have to be voting for Republicans. By the way, or Kamala should tap in with uh, somebody like that kid. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Harry Sisson. Harry Sisson, I think his name is. He's all he's all in on the Harris Walls campaign. I love Kai, but sending the VP to Kai just because Trump went to Aiden Ross. That's I pull up here at the breakfast. Club. No, send yes. the VP in her silk press someplace that doesn't look like she's copying Trump. All right, this is a little bit of the Aiden Ross. They brought it up a couple times. If you missed it, Aiden Ross is another major streamer. All right, but this is the, this is what they were saying. This is what Kamala Harris was trying to reproduce with that young black kid. Take my life away. I got to give that kid Aiden some props, man. He a young guy, and you got to have some gall to like set that up and be confident enough to do a live stream, not a recording, a live stream with Donald Trump. It looked like they had Mar-a-Lago. I know Fanny, Fanny Willis is treating you very unfair. I have a friend who's currently being treated unfair by, by her. Uh, he's a rapper named Young Thug. Yeah. And I was just. I heard that. Actually. Yeah. I just, uh, I just was wondering if there's a way that we can make sure he gets treated fair. That's yeah. all. So I've heard about him and I heard he's being treated very unfairly very unfair. by her. Yeah. And I would tell her he's, she's got to treat these patriots that are being all terrible. They're going after him. 
and I hear Young Thug is being treated. I heard the name. Yeah. I heard it from other people where they say he's being treated very unfairly. Very unfair. So he's got to be treated fairly. Please. <laughs> Donald Trump don't know who Young Thug is. <laughs> I, I, now, I'm not completely saying he don't because he could, right? Donald Trump used to be in the game. But Young Thug is way past the rapper time that Donald Trump was involved in, right? I mean, Donald Trump, I think he probably, oh, who was under his armpit back in the day? He had a whole bunch of rappers under his armpit. Young Thug is a newer rapper. And I, I personally think Young Thug should go to prison for the rest of his life for all that stuff that they're doing. These kids, these, these dudes are responsible in part of killing, I don't know how many black people in this racketeering thing. They thugging, they gangsters. They're the reason why the inner city community is so dangerous because these people like Young Thug in them. Now, innocent until proven guilty. I don't know how far they're along in their little Rico case, but these dudes be rapping about gangster stuff, man. And either they fake or they really doing that gangster stuff. And if they doing the gangsters they talking about, then they're a detriment to society. Damn, okay. Thank you, Let's talk about the car. Let's go. Pretty good, huh? Where's the camera at? Oh. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you about TikTok. <laughs> Trump is going to keep TikTok going, whereas Biden and Paris they have no idea what it means. And all it's going to do is be good for China the other way. It's so good. We're going to keep, we're going to save TikTok. They want to destroy TikTok. Look at Trump, though. Let, let me just say this. Trump with Aiden, genuine. Trump was with the golf guy that, what's his name? Bryson DeChambeau, who won the uh, the U.S. Open. I, I don't know why I blanked on that. I just said it a minute ago. He won the U.S. Open. I would argue that the, when you win the U.S. Open, you're considered at least the top golfer in the world. I uh, went well, in the U.S. for, for, for sure. I think the U.S. golfers are better than anybody else. So if you're the best in the U.S., you're the best in the world, in my opinion. But, you know, he's at least one of the top golfers in the U.S. He got paid a lot of money when he won. Him and Donald Trump had uh, a little, I don't know, uh, sit down, golf turn, golf little experience. And it went well. He was genuine. Donald Trump is a genuine dude. He genuinely isn't shell-shocked around celebrity people because he's been doing this his whole life. And he is, you know, the celebrity celebrity until he ran for office as a Republican, then they hated him. If he was a Democrat, I almost wish Donald Trump would have ran as a Democrat. But he couldn't win against Hillary as a Democrat because they had it all rigged up. But if Donald Trump would have ran as a Democrat with his policies, he would have changed the Democrat Party, and Donald Trump would have won big time. I'd not have voted for him as a Democrat if he was had the policies that he have now. I just think it would have been so hard to come against him as a Democrat, right? It's... It, because if you claim to be a Democrat, somehow you for the people, you know, and that's how ignorant, low information voters vote. But anyway, shout out to Jaden Ross. He said something stupid on live stream the other day. Somebody told me, but shout out to him having the confidence to bring Donald Trump to the young folks. I think people are seeing Donald Trump as a real person. When he got shot, doing these interviews, come out of them are just fake, man. And it ain't going to last long. I'll see y'all in the next one, though. Comment in the comment section. I'm out.